Hello guys, welcome to the new video on the Black Ocean. Today we're going to talk about the life of the stars. In general, the stars have different stages of embryonic childhood, youth, and old age. After Einstein's discovery of the quality of mass and energy, scientists realized that all the stars must change and evolve. Each star consumes some of its material when it emits light energy. The stars are not eternal. They were born one day and they will die one day. And we are going to talk to you about the solidification of the stars and stay with us till the end of the video. After billions of years after their birth, which shine with almost constant light, the stars slowly grow bigger and bigger like an inflated balloon until they become a red giant during their life. A red giant is a large inflated star that is tens of times larger than the original set of the star and shine with red orange light. The red giant is burning hot and constantly absorbing energy. The red giant stars that exist now are tens of times bigger and more energetic than the sun. The stars take two separate paths after becoming red giants. The first way, the stars that have a high mass and are so called more massive than other stars turn from red giants to super giants. The super giants is 10 of time bigger than the red giants. However, during a series of reactions that occur over millions of years, the super giant explodes in form of a supernova after reaching its largest state and emits a lot of light that is the result of the release of energies it releases itself into the surrounding environment. New stars mean a new and transformed star that has changed its states. Supernovas constantly experience very large explosions caused by nuclear activities. The brightness of supernova explosions is as bright as billions of stars like the sun, which are next to each other. Supernovas also suffer from two fates. Those that are dancing and have more energy become black holes. And the second group become neutron star. A neutron star is an old and dense star that has consumed almost all of its nuclear field. This new type of star was discovered for the first time in 1967 by a radio telescope. The second way, if the mass of the star that has become a red giant is equal to the mass of our sun, it loses its external gases and so called gradually collapses. That is, it collapses inside itself and its outer layers loses this process continues until the red giant becomes a white dwarf. White dwarfs are a small luminous object in the size of the earth that have high temperature and heat. The white dwarf bends so much energy that after billion of years it becomes a black dwarf. Black dwarfs are almost luminous objects that indicate that the end of the star's life. The fate of our sun is also on the second path. More than 5 billion years later, the sun will become a red giant in the course of its life cycle. These events do not happen all at once. And during these 5 billion years, the sun slowly gets warmer and bigger. The sun blows up and attracts the planet Mercury, Venus and Earth towards itself and in a way solves it and advances to the planet Mars. Our sun, whose diameter is 1.4 million kilometers, will be tens of millions of kilometers in 5 billion years. After becoming a red giant, the sun slowly loses its outer gases and after collapsing, it turns into a white dwarf. At this point, the sun is about the size of the earth. Billions of years later, the sun reaches the end of its life and turns into a dead black dwarf with darkness raining throughout it. Thank you guys for your watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video and share the video with your friend. Here you are with the recommended movie and book and I will see you tomorrow. Take care of yourself. I love you so much. Goodbye.